<clears throat> anytime I get asked the same question over and over again and it's not uh, uh, found within a video I've made, then I try to make it a part of a video. Um, now this is a Canon TTL cord that uh, I use for the Fuji. Fuji uses a, a Canon TTL pinout. I've got tons of TTL cables for Nikon. This of course is a Nikon Speedlight. Um, the point is that the center pin right here, regardless of the pinouts that surround it, whether it's Canon, Nikon, Fuji, Fuji and Canon are the same pinouts, center pin trip, like um, pocket wizards, okay? Center pin trip. In other words, you can use any damn speed light. I don't care who the hell the speed light's made for. You can use any speed light with any damn camera, but you're not going to have TTL capability. But you can use it in auto mode. Auto mode uses a, uh, a flash quench via this little sensor right up here. Most modern speed lights, and this speed light is not that modern. This is an SB28, and it's pretty damn old. I've got more than a few of these. It quenches the speed light once a certain light level is reached, indicated via the ISO that you set on the back of the speed light. So any damn speed light, along with any darn TTL cable, or even just a regular older cable, like an SC17, which actually SC17 cable is also a TTL cable. But I can use, for example, uh, this Canon pinout on any modern uh, Nikon DSLR or with any uh, any uh, speed light combination. The point being is that when it comes to tripping the speed light in manual mode or in auto mode, any speed light is possible and any cable pinout is possible. Whether it's a, uh, a Pentax TTL cable, a Canon TTL cable, a Nikon TTL, any freaking cable with any freaking speed light with any freaking camera. The only issue will be is that you won't have TTL capability, which like if you're using a Nikon and you're using some really ancient old speed lights, it doesn't make any damn difference anyway. You don't have TTL capability with those old speed lights. I mean, I, it's a Nikon speed light, but I have no TTL capabilities to use this on a modern Nikon DSLR. But center pin connector, which uh, trips the speed light for firing, in manual mode and auto mode, doesn't make any damn difference. Um, this is important because I keep getting asked this question. Someone will say, well, their flash doesn't work. You know, if your camera has a hot shoe issue, where there's actually a, a, a defect on your camera, that's obviously one thing. But as long as the camera is physically fine, as long as your TTL cable isn't have a broke, uh, broke uh, a wire in it, or the same thing of some issue, mechanical malfunction with your speed light, any camera, any TTL cable, any speed light. It's not going to work in TTL, but it will work in manual mode and auto mode. So I wanted to make that clear because I keep getting asked that question by more than a few people. Because I can use this Canon cable on my Nikon, but I'm only going to be able to use it in auto or manual mode. But I can also use that with any old damn speed light too. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, speed lights are not that difficult. Uh, they really confuse a lot of people, especially when you go into the setup menus. But Things are not that difficult. Okay, bye.